Yeah. Are you a member of the, the union? I'm recently just joining up, so... Oh, right. And what's, what's the problem you find in the, the housing? Uh, the re- rents have gone up so much recently that it's becoming a nightmare for majority of the people to pay the rent. Um, people that are looking for work are being put off because we can't pay the rent unless you're getting the housing benefits. If you start working, you lose the housing benefits. And uh, is that what's affecting you then, the idea of getting a job? Yeah, I've been trying to find a job for years now that works with the rent. And because I've got a small son, um, he's in school, but getting the hours to match what the job centre want and what the rent wants is it's an absolute nightmare. Um, I'd like to be able to go to college and come out of it thinking that I can go into a job without worrying about how much I'm paying my rent and whether I can afford to keep the house. <laughs> I'm trying to keep myself set up for my son and I don't want to have to keep moving him every time the rent goes up. Where is your son then? He's seven. <laughs> He's a nice boy. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's bad. I mean, a lot of people are only aware of the fact that people are living under these kind of conditions. You know, if you get a job, yeah. you can't afford the rent. Yeah, it's the job centre push you and push you to get a job and I'm absolutely demented in the house waiting to get a job that suits. Um, if I could be out working, I would. And just it's the rent that's mostly yeah. putting me off. Me and my son have been homeless before because of the rent. Um, we've stayed in a private let before and the rent went up and up to the mm-hmm. point where I couldn't keep it. Um, me and him were staying wherever we could and he was quite a small baby at the time. Yeah. Um, and I don't want that to happen again. But I've already seen people move out the building because the rent has been so high and they've wanted to keep their jobs and their home. And how did you find out about the union? Uh, some of the neighbours were talking to me about it. Um, I've been a bit disconnected recently with kind of s- local affairs, but I'm now getting back into it and seeing them different ways that these people can help. Yeah, you've got a lot on your plate bringing up a, a wee boy. Yeah, not really had much time to do this, but it's something that I really feel strongly enough about that I do so have do to think come the out. The union is quite. Uh, it's quite good to get that kind of solidarity and other people yes. involved in the same thing. Yeah, we're all working together and it's the only way we can really make a difference is working together. Yeah. Um, me on my own trying to, I can't annoy the housing enough to uh-huh. do something about it. Maybe if we work together then something will be achieved. Good. Thanks for talking. Hi there, my name's Sean Bailey. I've got the pleasure to work with Love and Rent, Scotland's Terrence Union. Living Rent was originally set up in 2014 to help lobby the new private tenancy bill, which is now going to force in December of this year. It started off as a kind of coalition between different groups, primarily in Edinburgh, the Edinburgh Private Tenants Action Group and others. What they found was that the new private tenancy bill came in, there was the Landlord Association, different landlords groups and kind of letting it throw a lot of money at this bill to try and influence it. So there need to be a, some sort of rebalance of power. So they set up Living Rent, a kind of tenant-led inspiration group to lobby this bill. They, they won massive concessions, um, part of which is the ability for every local authority in Scotland to apply for a rent pressure zone. We've, since then, we've actually recently won a kind of slight concession for Glasgow City Council where they're going to commission a feasibility study into how it would work with the rents in Glasgow and where it would be most applicable. Uh, we have maybe differences or opinions on that to what the council will have, but we'll see over the next coming months. Since the uh, private tenancy bill was passed, Living Rent decided, I thought, what can we do next? They looked abroad to different tenants organisations, different tenants unions, and also inspiration from our own tenant history, especially here in Glasgow and decided that a tenant shouldn't was, was one of the things that was most needed to help organise our communities in Glasgow. Living Rent heavily influenced the private tenancy bill, managed to win massive concessions, including the, the right for a rent pressure zone, some, a, a style of rent cap that can be applied in each local authority. Since then, Living Rent has launched a tenant union um, to campaign and ensure that these powers are enacted by the council and by the Scottish government. 
So at the start of this year, the decision was made to launch as a tenants union. Um, Living Rent managed to get the funding to hire an organiser part-time in Glasgow, that's a subway. Uh, managed to hire an organiser part-time in Glasgow in March of this year. Since then, it has been a crazy summer of going out and trying to organise tenants, help communities come together to successfully fight unjust evictions, win back thousands of pounds in stolen deposits and tens of thousands of pounds of repairs forced through through slum landlords refusing to do their, their responsibilities. Uh, the last few weeks have seen some great actions by tenants of one particular close in Partick where the full block came together, um, they communicated, talked to each other, organised and painted themselves these massive banners in response to the ever increasing rents in area. Sometimes, not sometimes, most of the time, higher than the local private lets in the area. So what we look for is street by street, block by block, area by area, every community to have a, a living rent branch within there, but not just within Glasgow, but across Scotland. We want each community, each neighbourhood to be built up, every tenant in the area to know who else is a living rent member to come out, get organised in action teams, protect ourselves, but also put the landlords on the back foot, put, start forcing the government to protect the rights of the tenants, who are many, many more tenants than there is landlords. So this is our fight from now on. We need more help, we need more tenant involvement, and we need Jews to lead the way. It's very easy to get started. You can either just phone us, uh, or contact us through the Facebook, Living Rent Glasgow Facebook page. We've got a website, livingrent.org. Also, contact at livingrent.org is the main email for any inquiries coming in. Well, the first thing we do say to anyone joining or wanting to get involved is literally to talk to your neighbours, talk to everyone in your close, just ask them if they're comfortable with the, the price of their rent, ask them if they've had their deposit secured, ask if there are any repairs needing done. Is there a common issue that you all share? I'm sure there will be. Unite around that issue, let us know, we can support and we can take the issue directly to the landlord, whether it's a private landlord or a house association. Thanks for listening. Hope to hear from you soon. Let's do this.